Uh oh, we got content. Okay, so check it out. WAP 100 blazes Charleston White for running a play on himself, claiming he got popped in the rack. What? Let's get to the content. Yo, shout out to this guy, Ray Gibb. He be having all the updates on WAC 100, man. It's Ray Gibb TV. Look what um Charleston White trying to do to Chicago right now. Mm. That, that's their content. What are you talking about? He got shot out here? He got shot. Charles, he released that. He got them people doing that. I didn't call every side of Chicago. Nigga, you in here now. Right? You would know, right? They're like, well, like, that shit ain't happening. Right? This nigga using Chicago name because he didn't talk crazy because ain't nothing else going on with the nigga name but him getting arrested and telling it and then hired the nigga was high in a light for 30 minutes wouldn't move you know what i'm saying so now he want to issue put some shit out shot to chicago nigga shot you but it's fake yeah. right guess why because it's more believable why didn't you say some minnesota niggas some some texas nigga nigga they don't like your ass down there either what no let me put this light on chicago why you got Dirk up here? Why you got Dirk up here saying he's, you know, uh, devoted Muslim and they didn't gave him keys to two different areas, you know, on some positive shit. Nah, nah, let's put this negative shit back on there. You know what I'm saying? Let's put this shit. <laughs> hey, Wack, Wack, let me ask you something, man. Let me ask you something. Because yeah. since I've been out here... In, in LA, you know, I've been I've been doing interviews with different people from different LA sets, Bloods, Crips, all types mm -hmm. of shit. And I feel like the mindset out here is so different to Chicago. I feel like people out here move so much more disciplined. They they yeah, move well, way more, more history. Structure. You know what I'm saying? It's more structure. It's more structure. Um, I mean, you got to remember. I can hold on. Let me post some shit. You know, we got homeboys in their seventies, late sixties and seventies. You know, that's that's you know. So it's like, like even myself, I'm like fourth generation or some shit like that, fourth mm -hmm. fifth generation. Mm -hmm. So you know, well, when you're dealing with that, it's more structure. Um, in Chicago, the youngsters, you know, they listen to niggas that might be 28. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Shit, saying? If that, it's like 16 year olds listening to 21 year olds. Or yeah. kids listening to. They listen to motherfuckers, my G28. Watch this. Now, this is a. Uh, um, all you guys heard this individual's name. It's a funeral just, that they just had. All y'all heard this individual name. Tupac used to scream it. Um, y'all hear Big Rock got knocked, but this one's for you. That's Rock Chisholm. Rest in peace. He was doing life in prison for a motherfucking gun. Um, back in the day, where they niggas just got the stash spots, right? But pay attention to that photo, of my PTR. Look how old those individuals are. That LPP, you know what I'm saying? That's Ludus Park Paru. That mean they the ones sent that floor arrangement. But Brock was from Elm Street Paru. He was doing life for a pistol. Been in there, shit, twenty four. Probably 27 years or 28 years when he got so sick, the prison didn't want to pay for it, so they released him. And within like a couple months, he passed away, right? So that just happened a couple days ago. But look how old those individuals are. You get what I'm saying? Now, there was real power rules, real bloods up in that picture that's still active today. So if they 65, then you got some people up front of them, 58, 55. Then it's another division up front of them, you know, 50 to 55. Then you got the, the 45 to 50 where I fall, fourth generation. Then under me, you know, that 38 to 45. And then under them, you know, the, you know, 30 to 38. So it's, it's like if a dude is 30 years old, 90% of the chance I'm not talking to him. My homeboy up under me, I'm going to talk to him and he's going to talk to them. They don't have that in Chicago. Um, and then the youngsters in Chicago, if you ain't getting no money 
or you got nothing got nothing going for yourself, they ain't going to respect you anyway. They don't want to hear nothing you talking about. Period. You, on, you fucked up in the streets on Heron, asking them for a handout. You can't come over there telling them nothing. And I was telling them, I believe if they release um, Larry Hoover today, <clears throat> shout out to Larry Hoover, those streets, I, as it is today, he couldn't shut that down. He couldn't stop. I don't know. I could be speaking out of turn 16 in it. Uh, I, I, feel, I, I, I feel that too. Like I do feel like, you know, it's still a lot of people who going to listen to what he got to say, but it's a lot of shorties who never even experienced, you know, his, his realm at all. Like all he is is like a legend to them. So it's like a nigga like that coming home and telling the nigga what to do that been out here by himself. They going to look at you like what you did for me. Like if a motherfucker come in and find a way for people to make money and anybody that go against it, they get dealt with maybe then, yeah. But just come in thinking him being who he is, the show is gonna respect it. They don't even respect their fucking parents. That's a fact. Hey Wack, I, I feel like uh, recently we've been seeing a lot of beef between different cities. Like we got situations where you got guys in Philly are beefing with guys in Chicago now. You know, we done seen crews click up in different states to kind of beef with each other like what do you think as far as like gangsters from different states pressing each other should state different well, cities and states respect each other or not are we talking about rappers i mean rappers but like nowadays you know the rappers, the rappers got the gangsters the behind them yeah because see here go the thing if a rapper from chicago and there's a rapper from philly and they getting into it. Yeah, they side, they street, they city gonna stand behind them if it's <clears throat> something of that magnitude. But that ain't gonna have all of Chicago saying fuck Philly and all of Philly saying fuck Chicago. Yeah, because everybody already don't get along. Shit. Hey, yeah, do, you, do you ever feel like uh, there could be another thing like the East Coast versus West Coast rap beef, like a full blown Chicago versus another city type beef? You know what I'm saying? Like East versus West was a big thing back in the day, right? The right oh, person yeah, it, it it drove it drove the music industry, but it was not it wasn't street, it was industry. That was Death Row and Bad Boy. Mm. Oh, we didn't. Niggas fuck with Bad Boy, nigga. We listen to Bad Boy music. It wasn't like mm. fuck New York because of Bad. Nah, it was it was those two labels. One happened to be on the east, one happened to be on the west. But the media spun it that way. Those people that didn't have to be in the middle of that storm spun that that way. The people overall, I've never seen. Even when it was a dude named Tim Dog out of New York who came with a song called Fuck Compton. Damn. Right? He made a song. Even that, niggas from Cali and Compton was like, it's all with Tim Dog. They didn't say fuck New York. You didn't see DJ Quick and nobody respond with a, a fuck New York song. Yeah. So no, nah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's, it's that deep. I don't know what y'all hearing up there. Sixteen, is it that deep up there with that? Hey, what uh, you hearing? Sixteen. It, 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 it just be people from like. It's like the internet. Like if I'm from Chicago and I say fuck a Philly rapper and all my homies saying it, but they from different hoods. The internet think that's the whole Chicago. It's no. It's just personal with us and these niggas. But people get on the bandwagon. People that's not even involved and make it look like it's more than what this shit is. It's really just a few hoods that all fuck with each other. That's all on one accord. Shit, if they into it with them, they all into it with them. But it's also another side of niggas who gonna be like, you good. I just did an interview with some niggas. I probably drop it today. They all saying like, Kwani, you good. Come to our block. Ain't shit gonna happen. So it's always two sides. Hey, 16, what, what is, uh, what, what's the worst experience you've had doing an interview, man? Have you ever had an interview go left, shoot out, something crazy? Shit, the shootout shit, I would say that's the worst, probably going to jail. For real? Yeah. What, from an interview? Not from an interview, but it's like, that's why I stopped shooting music videos, because it's like, mm. interviews, I can control the environment, I can control everything, you know, a music video, you booking me to come well, you want me to come to put your vision out. So if that's on your block and you got mm. the hottest block, the police always smacking that bitch. And I got to protect myself. So I mm. get tired of getting in situations like that. 
Mm-hmm. I did this shit to escape this type of shit. And it was getting me catching more cases. I'm catching gun cases mm-hmm. on other niggas' blocks that I don't got no beef on. Mm, that's crazy man hey l- let me ask you this bro like i i don't kind of agree with this narrative but a lot of people say like oh the interviews like push the violence now i don't personally agree i feel like if people want to sit down and do an interview and talk their shit they man that boy rap williams be tripping man like bruh ain't nobody gonna believe anything you talking about you running a play on yourself like wow just wow Kind of crazy, right? I don't know what y'all think. Let me know. Charleston White, what are you doing for the clout? Uh oh, what y'all think about the content, man? Let me know in the comments down below. Appreciate the support, everybody tuning in to the channel. Be sure to like the video, share the video, and tell a friend to tell a friend. We got content. Uh oh. And remember to keep that notification bell turned on. You don't want to miss out on any premium content. I will deliver 24-7 around the clock. You already know. To everybody out there grinning, grinding, remember, your hard work will pay off. If you believe it, you'll achieve it. And there it go. Make no mistake, ain't nobody going to hand you anything. you got to get up off your shoulders and get to the bag. What? Go claim that. Go earn that. Go get that. But until next time, Shabor Ray gave it them gone. God bless. Peace.